Greetings and salutations, Life Gainers. I'm your host, Lamont Tyson. And on today's show, we're going through our business series. Um, this channel is all about helping people understand how to connect all the moving parts in life to ultimately give you a life gain. We're based in health, education, and business ownership. And today, I have the president of the Nussbaum Center here in Greensboro, Mr. Sam Funches. How you doing? Great, Lamont. Appreciate the opportunity to speak to you today. Well, well, thank you for coming on here to help people understand what it is they can do if they want to own a business to better navigate the murky waters of free, free market enterprise here in America. So tell us a little bit about you. What got you involved in Nussbaum Center? Sure. Uh, again, I came about being the president and CEO about nine, a little over nine years ago. And how that came about is I was sitting on the board of directors of the organization at the time, and we had a uh, transition in leadership. Yes, sir. And so I stepped in there on an interim basis as we worked on that, and that turned into permanent. And gotcha. so it's uh, been a, a long nine years, and we've had yeah. a lot of fun, but we're uh, really creating an impact in the community by helping entrepreneurs achieve their dream and be successful. Right. I read some data that said one of the scariest things a person can do in America is decide to become an entrepreneur. Having said that, what made you passionate about wanting to help entrepreneurs and something that can be very terrifying? Uh, I think the reality is, is entrepreneurship is going to be the most difficult thing you can undertake. To me, it's harder than having kids, and I have three. So yes, sir. That, that just kind of gives you a perspective. Having three kids, and I still think that having three kids is easier than owning your own business. Uh, but where my passion came about from is uh, on my mother's side, they were farmers, and so that is the epitome of entrepreneur. And then on my father's side, he was an entrepreneur and held several businesses. So I've been exposed to it for years. Yes, sir. And for me, when I started my business, it was incredibly difficult to find true mentors and good advice when I was going through it. Now, the advice was there. I just didn't know that it was there. And so I started uh, my businesses. Uh, several of them have been successful, but I had one major failure, and that mm -hmm. major failure really, it, it, it hurt me and my family financially. Yes, sir. And so it, uh, it really drove me to trying to provide honest feedback to entrepreneurs. Because a lot of times everybody's like, Lamont, that's a great idea. Go yeah. forward when it's really not a good idea. And, gotcha. and so what we try and do is provide you, Lamont, your current path is not the best direction. Right. Let's modify this some. Absolutely. Guys, you will not see Lamont the Lollipop brand coming anytime soon. <laughs> they have told me <laughs> no way there are enough Lollipop businesses in the world. But um, what is it that this building and your organization can do to help people who are planning to go in business? All right, so we provide help in three distinct areas. The first is providing strategic support, trying to make sure you've identi identified the right target customer, the right customer base, the right industry segmentation, and uh, that you have the skills in order to enter into those industries. The second area is the operational support, and that is really your day-to-day operational issues such as balancing your checkbook, understanding accounting, focus on sales, uh, employee management, partnership relationships, and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. uh, the third area where we spend the vast majority of our time is going to be on the emotional support of entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. As we indicated earlier in the program, we talked about that owning your own business is going to be the most difficult thing you've ever done. Yes, sir. And and during that exercise or going through that day-to-day -day activity, the emotional aspect and drain and strain on yourself and your relationships is pretty severe. And what we try and do is help uh, grab the ends of the of the ups and downs, pull it so that hopefully those ups and downs become more shallow. Absolutely. And, and more manageable. Gotcha. And you gotcha. can stay focused on what's important, which is sales. Yeah. If an entrepreneur has already established a business, can they still come here and get support? 
Yes, they can. So uh, our best clients are a company that's been in business for about anywhere between a year to two years and has finally achieved revenue to the tune of about a quarter of a million dollars. Okay. okay. And that's the most uh, beneficial client or the client that we can help the most just because at $250,000 in revenue, you have enough revenue and budget that you can do Mm-hmm. a lot of the activities that you need to grow your business. When you're when you're less than $100,000 in revenue, there's just no fat or in your budget to allow you to expand and focus on some things. So it just is really tough. Gotcha, gotcha. What do you see as the future of the Nussbaum Center and what they're doing for entrepreneurs? Keep in mind, Greensboro just got voted one of the top 10 cities in all the United States to start a small business. And I'm right. sure you guys have so much to do with that. What do you see can be the next five-year vision for the Nussbaum Center? Well, I think the next five-year vision is to really help our clients accelerate sales. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters to a business is sales. Mm -hmm. Without sales, then you have no business because you just ultimately run out of cash. Yes, sir. And so you have to have sales. And most people will start their business and build it and they will come mentality. And, And I am of the belief, while that is a possible option to grow your business. It's just not the best option because what we try and do is help the clients, our clients, uh, obtain sales before they begin the process of of starting their business. And the reason being is it's uh, failure is expensive. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. if we can reduce the cost of that failure, then we want to try and do that. Absolutely. Um, in closing, and just thank you for your time. You're a very busy man. It's hard to catch you, but I'm <laughs> thankful you wanted to come and do this to help people understand what it is they can do to better themselves for us at businesses. Are there any other Nussbaum type centers across America? We're here in Greensboro, but Correct. for those that are watching this show that are in other states, are there any similar organizations like the Nussbaum Center in other municipalities? Yes, there are. Uh, many organizations similar to the Nussbaum Center throughout the country and the world. Uh, the easiest place is to go to nbia.org. Mm-hmm. That stands for National Business Incubation Association. Uh, and on the right-hand side of their webpage, you'll find a locate an incubator. Now, the piece is, is there's a lot of terminology that gets thrown around just in every industry. So you have incubation, you have acceleration, you have co-working, and you have hacker spaces. Each one, while similar, is different. Your accelerator is a very selective group and process. It's usually a group of eight to ten businesses that go through as a class or a group. Mm-hmm. And their intent is to help you finalize your product, get it ready for marketing, and get you to sales as fast as possible. Incubation is generally uh, once you're a little bit more mature and you're really ready to scale your business and and refine your operational aspects of your business, you can come in and and you can stay anywhere from three to, to seven years depending on the organization and they help you with all aspects of the operations of your business mainly in strategy. The co-working space is generally designed for people that that don't need an office or they have an idea and want to surround themselves with other entrepreneurs and grow their business. Gotcha. A lot of solopreneurs or consultants, web developers mm-hmm. uh, will, will usually find themselves at co-working space. And then maker spaces, we have the Forge here in Greensboro, which they have machine tools and other equipment available for you to, for inventors primarily, where you can create your ideas into viable products. Uh, they help you get prototypes and give you step-by-step plays to make sure that you're doing all the work before you actually get involved in the system. Correct, exactly. Um, for those that want to reach out to the Nussbaum Center, how can they get in contact with you? The easiest way is uh, our phone number is 336-379-5001 or Nussbaum, N-U-S-S-B-A-U-M-C-F-E for centerforentrepreneurship.com. Well, guys... You've heard it here first. Being an entrepreneur is scary, but it doesn't have to be. Come down here and take a good look at the Nussbaum Center, Mr. Funches. Lamont, how's your business? Is it scary to you? <laughs> Every day. <laughs> I, I mean, it's, do I go home and tell my wife the, the good or bad news, or do I stay at the business all night? Exactly. But having said that, thankfully to the Nussbaum Center, 
and some of those other co-working spaces you've talked about takes a little bite out of the fear and it also has helped create some networks to make the business easier and expand the reach that we're trying to go through. Correct. And if you're successful, it's the most rewarding uh, path you can take. It gives you the ultimate life gain. So guys, having said that, don't forget to like that video, comment, subscribe, go out there and get yourself a life gain and come take a good look at all the wonderful things they can offer you here at the Nussbaum Center in Greensboro, North Carolina.